The rapture is a familiar concept to most Christians and non-Christians alike. While they may not believe it, and they may even laugh at it, many non-Christians know that all the Christians believe that they are supposed to somehow disappear before the end of the world. Satan would seem to have a problem. How would he be able to explain away the fact that every person who was a Christian has suddenly disappeared? It would seem like a huge wake-up call to the world that the Christians were right after all. It is becoming more and more clear what Satan's solution to this dilemma is. He will answer this preposterous idea, the rapture, with another preposterous idea, an alien deception. When thinking of the peculiar things of the world, the New Age movement tends to come to mind. Another topic that has always interested New Agers has been UFOs and extraterrestrials. In the past, the idea that UFOs were real was relegated to the fringe. In recent years, however, Several scientists have come to the conclusion that extraterrestrials are statistically probable. Christians must deal with this from a biblical worldview and not be caught up in the deception that UFOs are anything but agents of the prince of the power of the air, aka Satan. God is very real, angels are very real, and the enemy is also very real. In an article by a former New Age participant, Jim Sales describes a prevailing belief among New Agers. Sales describes what Israeli psychic Yuri Geller said, extraterrestrials would not interfere until, in a single night, at the peak of the conflict, they would remove millions of humans who resist this initiation into a higher spiritual consciousness and re-educate them before returning them to Earth a few years later. Another article quotes Barbara Marciniak in her book Bringers of the Dawn as saying, the people who leave the planet during the time of Earth changes do not fit in here any longer and they are stopping the harmony of the earth. When the time comes that perhaps 20 million people leave the planet at one time, there will be a tremendous shift in consciousness for those who are remaining. Geller and Marciniak's quotes sound quite familiar to Christians. 1 Thessalonians 4, 16-18 tells Christians they will disappear from the earth someday. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. The source of this information in both cases, Yuri Geller and Barbara Masiniak, is described as being from psychic contact with extraterrestrials. This is not something New Agers have invented. It comes straight from the mind of Satan, disguised as an alien. This has been communicated to them, and will possibly be the explanation for the rapture of the church, i.e., those who do not fit into the earth anymore, those who resist the initiation into a higher spiritual consciousness, the troublemakers. Are you a troublemaker? I hope so. Because these things are moving in ways that we just don't understand at hypersonic speeds and then they just turn on a dime. I mean, it's incredible. It would seem a little strange if the government were calling attention to its own classified weapons programs. Uh, so what you're saying, right. I think makes sense. Could an alien deception be the strong delusion God sends on an unbelieving and unrepentant world in the last days? Recently, interest has been rising in the theory that an alien deception will be part of the end times. Odd as it may seem, this theory is entirely plausible from a Christian perspective. Although the Bible gives us no word about whether or not aliens exist, there is no inclusion of them in the creation account in Genesis, and no mention of them elsewhere. The Bible does tell us about visitors from another world, the spiritual world, as we read in Ephesians 6.12. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. According to a National Geographic survey, 77% of all Americans believe there are signs that aliens have visited Earth. According to a recent Harris poll, only 68% of all Americans believe that Jesus is God or the Son of God. That means that the number of Americans that believe that UFOs have visited us is now greater than the number of Americans that believe what the Bible has to say about Jesus Christ. With each passing year, the frequency of UFO sightings seems to keep increasing as does the number of movies, television shows, and video games featuring aliens and extraterrestrial life. It is almost as if the population of the planet is being primed for something. Could this phenomenon be the strong delusion of the last days that is talked about in the Bible? 2 Thessalonians 2 9-12 The coming of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan, with all power, signs, and lying wonders, and with all unrighteous deception among those who perish, because they did not receive the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this reason God will send them strong delusion, that they should believe the lie, that they all may be condemned who did not believe the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Why is God sending a strong delusion? The Bible makes it clear. They perish because they refuse to love the truth and so be saved. Simply put, God sends a strong delusion to those who choose not to believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. The Subscribe to Shadow and Toes for more Christian content.